guys it's lovely to be here and uh, welcome to the video I hope you're doing well and you've had a really lovely week today we're going to talk about um, some mixes that I did for the paintings in the last video so I have been trying to get this video up uh, well since last Saturday but definitely it's been on my to-do list every day since Monday so finally we are getting to this video so um, we're going to swatch them today so you can see here like some of the paintings that were in the last video but I just showed you the Bockingford uh, sketchbook so this is a new one it's from Jackson's and I got that one because I generally just have the two watercolor sketchbooks the Holbein and the Caval and quite often when I'm swatching things you can see here like I'll swatch them in um, like my little Apica notebook or on some other paper that's not necessarily watercolor paper and I do get questions about you know swatching them on watercolor paper for you so I don't necessarily want to swatch them in those sort of um, better you know quality sketchbooks so I just got this one it's a cellulose paper and I can you know just use that um, it's kind of like a like a a better quality version of the Canson watercolor paper from Walmart so I talk about that a lot that's what I started um, you know painting on quite a few years ago and I just really enjoyed um, just always being able to get that and it was cheap and easy to get and I could just use it and use it and um, you know swatch things and paint things so I got this sketchbook and yeah it's a really beautiful one um, for a cellulose so that that means it's made from wood pulp or you can get cotton which is the better sort of quality of um, watercolor paper so the the paints blend you know more nicely on the cotton paper but um, this is yeah it's a really beautiful book it's a really uh, lovely sort of experience and you can also get the Saunders Waterford um, just the cotton paper version of this um, but it is cream paper which I, I generally uh, you know not, not navigate towards but lean towards um, you know the high white I kind of like the colors to be brighter and then I like to um, you know c create the the mood not necessarily just have a warm background but I like to create whatever kind of background I am looking for so yeah and so that'll vary from artist to artist and it really depends you know what you're looking for and um, but I do recommend these notebooks um, I, and they are spiral bound which is not my favorite but I am having a hard time finding really good quality um, watercolor sketchbooks um, you know bound that I that I enjoy but anyway so let's get into the mixes that I used for these paintings so the first one is um, the Daniel Smith cobalt blue you can see that it's a really beautiful bright blue um, it's a little bit less punchy than ultramarine so it's a very similar color to ultramarine that's kind of what I use instead and I mixed it with the Daniel Smith pearlescent white um, I really love the pearl white and I I will swatch that I will mix that with quite you know pretty much anything and it creates a really beautiful shimmer color so um, this one here is the Schmincke Ice Blue and the uh, Holbein Compose Blue so you can see I'm just putting some of the ice blue there in between as well and some of the Compose Green the Holbein Compose Green at the other end and just kind of letting all of these colors and the mixes blend that's the nice thing about doing swatches is that there's so many different ways to do swatches and if you watch any artist on YouTube you'll find that they swatch differently and that just becomes part of your style and part of you becoming familiar with your tools so this one here is the Daniel Smith phthalo green yellow shade and just the white you can see the big um, white there that I have it's the blocks titanium white um, I really enjoy that big white and just having it there to um, yeah, use and then this one here is a really nice mix so this is the Daniel Smith uh, Tiger's Eye Genuine 
and it's kind of like an olive green a really beautiful olive green and then I mixed that with the uh, Schmincke Lemon Yellow and I got like a really nice sap green. So that's a really pretty um, combination. You can mix, you know, like that with any yellows that you have to get like different shades of that. And then this one here, I'm just swatching out the tit uh, what am I saying? buff titanium. So, so this is a color I only just started re recently using. And I did do a video about like mixing this and everything, but this is a case of like um, everybody, you know, can say that that is a really good color, but until you kind of feel and find a way to use it, um, it may not make sense in your palette. So um, yeah, but I really love it now. Um, and yeah, just create and use the colors that you enjoy using. So, sorry, so the first one I mixed with the Buff Titanium was Daniel Smith Hematite. And now I'm mixing the Buff Titanium with Daniel Smith French Ochre. So, um, a mix of these three colours, the Buff Titanium, the French Ochre and the uh, Hematite. That's kind of what I've been using for the stonework. I really love the combinations that it creates. Uh, and the, did I say the Buff Titanium is the Isero one. I really love um, her colours. So this one here is the Wallace and Seymour Chinabresse. So this is kind of a beautiful sheer apricot colour. And I actually just got a, a, a new one and they've slightly reformulated. Um, I'll talk about that in another video, but I wish they would keep both versions because they're both really beautiful. This one, um, you can see there, it's like this really peachy, beautiful color. And I used this a lot in like the little portrait and I mixed it with the uh, Daniel Smith Van Dyke Brown. So you can see like from the shades in her skin to the background, um, yeah, just using different um, degrees of this uh, of this um, mix so okay so this is the Daniel Smith Van Dyke Brown um, and again you know you can use these colors and mix colors from what you have try and match these types of colors you don't have to you know have these specific colors but this is just showing you some of the types of things um, you know mix your ochres with the darker browns um, mix your you know um, granulating black with all of the colors and kind of see what kind of moody colors you can get so um, this one here is the so this the the red kind of the pink red one that is my um, color uh, actually both of these are mine so um, there's not necessarily a, like a you know equivalent out there um, but I will show you a couple of things at the end that you can um, try to get those similar things So and that's just kind of a mix of both of those So again, you know, you can mix like the Isero pink or like a Quinn pink with um, Like uh, the buff titanium or the like a French ochre um, The shell harp light from earth mineral arts would also be very similar so so this one is the Violet Iron Glimmer from Crema. Their paints again are, are really beautiful as well. And then I'm mixing it with, this is the Silk Grey from the Ocean Paper. So they have some really beautiful muted colors. And then this one here again is one of mine. And um, you can take any of like the Violet Earth type colors and mix that with a lot of white to get a similar um, color and yeah so that's kind of where we're up to so so this was a very colorful month as well with quite a lot of colors going and but if you look in some of my old um mixing colors for the month it was you know mixing videos it um there are some more limited you know months when you're just really going towards some more limited palettes but this was just a month where there were a lot of colors um, happening so this one here is one of my favorites this is peach pop by little reverie studio so it's an absolutely gorgeous kind of fluorescent peach color and yeah I just really love um, love that color 
and again sorry about the lights there so I put the Christmas lights there and they've kind of tangled around everything so I need to um, get those all untangled and moved but um, so that was mixing the peach pop with my um, I like that ready pink color uh, but again you can mix that with other pinks that you have other reds that you have and um, like the Isaro um, rose I think it's the Isaro rose is the one I'm thinking of um, yeah then there was the um, lemon yellow Schmincke lemon yellow the Holbein Jean Brilliant number two and then the that was my caramel so again it's like a it's like a really sparkly kind of burnt sienna but you could use um, burnt sienna mixed with um, either pearl white or the Daniel Smith interference copper uh, this one here is the Schmincke I think it's the cobalt turquoise um, it's the really it's the bright one and then this one here is another one of my favorites so this is from paint and paper studio this is the Pacific Lagoon and she doesn't have a um, uh, a website anymore but I will link her her email below and she'll make them for you if you she just has a few colors that are all really beautiful and yeah if you email her she will make um, those for you so you can see that like in the one light it's um, barely there and then you get this surprise shimmer which I really love um, and then also you can paint it on top of darker colors and you will get the beautiful um, color but I love leaving these in there just as like a little surprise of like um, that's kind of how I feel when I'm painting just really enjoying that um, you know just the just painting and I sort of want to leave a little bit of that just um, surprise of happiness in the painting so I really like to add a little bit of shimmer there um, so when it turns on the right light they kind of see that and it's really beautiful so uh, yeah so that is let's see uh, okay um, okay so I'm just showing you a couple of the other kind of interference ones that I have in the palette there so this one is the Daniel Smith interference lilac which is also a similar thing um, and then I will also show you the uh, Daniel Smith duo chrome lapis lapis sunlight I think as well Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you was how, um, you know, a couple of different mixes and kind of how you can make something like that kind of pinky color. Um, it is, it's a pigment that's got a lot of like granules in it, so it's not going to be exactly the same. I can't find anything commercially like on the market that's similar to that, but I will show you how to get that kind of tone. Um, in your you know work as well so basically we're going to just mix the Isaro Quinn pink uh, so I keep calling it Quinn pink but I think it, it's just the Isaro rose but it is like a Quinn pink type color it's just that this one is quite vibrant and it's just a really beautiful version of that but you know any type of color like that will work and then this one is the Daniel Smith interference lilac that we just swatched out so um, and again like a bunch of different Daniel Smith ones would probably work in this kind of way um, 
also if you haven't you know if you're not sure about like using the interference I would um like I just got the Daniel Smith tube of pearlescent white and I used that for like a long time like quite a few years and I think I only ended up with like maybe one other you know interference type one for a long time so um yeah just pick like maybe the pearl white and then one other one that you think that you might enjoy like they have I don't know maybe 15 or 20 of them so they do have kind of quite a nice color range um, I would also recommend the Daniel Smith dot cards or any any of the dot cards um, from the different brands because you can um, see the different colors and it really does help to uh, try them out so yeah that's just a couple of things also I think the last thing that I mixed there was the um, is a row rose with the shell harp light from earth mineral arts which is again a really beautiful kind of fawny uh, beige type color and so that's pretty much it you can see that it has been snowing this week um, a little dog was a little bit worried if she wouldn't get her walk but she did and she really enjoyed going out in the snow for a few minutes um, yeah so I will leave you here and I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you guys next week um, yeah, with another video. Bye.